This is David with Best Rest Products, home of the cycle pump tire inflator that has a lifetime warranty. We just finished part three of motorcycle air filters in the nuclear age. Tested a bunch of filters, make sure you watch that. Now we're going to clean the filters and uh, we're going to show you that process, cleaning the Google Tech uh, matrix filters. But before we begin that, let's look at the other filters that we tested. On the far end is the Uni Foam filter. You can read the results, how that performed in the test. And you can see that it requires two large aerosol cans. One is a solvent to dissolve the oil and re release the contaminants, and the other one is the oil treatment that actually retreats the filter. Then you have the can N, which again has two large containers. One is a solvent to release the, the oiled uh, material, and the second treats the filter. But in the case of the Google Tech, we're not using uh, a petroleum-based oil treatment. We're using an ecologically friendly, water-soluble oil to treat these filters now. And really, the, the kit that you need for servicing the filter is a couple of drops of dish soap, which you probably carry for camping, and a small bottle of the Rock Echo Foam Oil, and that will treat this filter after we've cleaned it. But we're going we're gonna to clean some filters, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. Um, you get a pan, you could use a folding bowl, uh, you could even use a Ziploc baggie. Put some water in it, add a couple of drops of dish soap, and then I drop the filter in. But before I drop in the filter, I'm going to take and knock off as much contamination as I can. If you were at home, you could use an air hose, but I'm assuming that you're not going to be at home. Instead, you're going to be on top of a mountain. You could blow this out and get rid of most of it. Don't do this with a can in filter. According to uh, the industry guy that we worked with to help uh, prepare the films, blowing a can in air filter uh, with high pressure air will tear apart the fibers and that will reduce the efficiency of the can in. So air hose, high pressure, no go for the can in. But we've knocked as much of this off as we can. We put our filter in our Ziploc bag and now we start shaking this up. It's a shake and bake process. The soap will dissolve whatever rock oil we had in there before and release all the contamination. What you see is a milky white color and that's because when we tested uh, our air filters we were using uh, very light colored talc and best restium. If this was dirt from the field this would be dirty brown. And We shake that a couple of times and then we're going to go do it again. Pour out the bad stuff, add some more water. We don't need to add more soap because we're going to try to cleanse the soap out of that filter. And you just keep doing it until you get a clean filter, until your water is clean. And you get rid of the soap traces. When I look at this filter, maybe difficult to see, I can still see some trapped contamination. It would be easier if this was dirt from the field, so I'll do it a couple more times. But I keep doing it two or three or four times until it's clean. Now, if I didn't have a plastic baggie and I had a pan, uh, the same process would apply. Knock off as much contamination as you can. Get a pan some water in it, a pan or you know an Ortlieb folding bowl, whatever it might be, put some water in, add some dish soap, and just start churning and sloshing in and out. Don't want to make too big a mess on my table, but what we're doing is we're releasing all the contamination and we just repeat this process until we get the filter clean.
that's coming out pretty clean right now. So once we've done that, we've cleaned the filter, we've gotten rid of as much contamination as possible, we've allowed this to dry, shake it hard, strip off as much water as you can, just set it down, let it dry out. Uh, you know, evaporation will take care of the water. But now we're going to take another filter. I'm not going to wait for this to dry. I'm going to take another Google Tech filter and I'm going to prep this for service in the bike. Let me back up for a moment. Once the filter is clean, I can put it right back in the bike and it's going to perform at the standard that the Google Tech dry matrix performed and you can look at the test to see how that did. But you get better results if you oil the filter because that helps trap some of the contamination. So using our little squirt bottle, I'm just going to squirt and distribute the oil on the filter and it will spread out and I'm done treating my filter. But that's how easy it is. You can buy these little containers from Best Rest. You can also buy the filters pre-oiled. We'll set up a system where you can order them that way for a few dollars more. This is ready to go back in the bike, ready to strain out the contamination, the dirt, all the other stuff. And if you're interested in how well they work, you need to watch Motorcycle Air Filters in the Nuclear Age. This is David with Best Rest Products. We'll see you on the trail.